welcome back to Hilo Lux, where luxury and style are attainable. I have an updated bedroom tour for you today. Um, I haven't done any home content in a while. Y'all keep reminding me. <laughs> um, so I figured I would show the bedroom. I feel like that is the most unique room in my house. It took the longest um, to like design. Um, and it's finally like pretty much done. So um, the last like house update I did was probably like six months ago. Um, and I quickly just like sped through the house. Um, I didn't think that's my best performing video, but I really didn't go into like much detail because I was just trying to like give a quick update. And I feel like I like just walked through the house in like 10 minutes. Um, so I figured I'd go in depth with the bedroom first. Let me know if you wanna see more content like this. Um, but I can't always do house content because I'm not like a home decor person. I enjoy decorating my house, but once it's done, it's done, honey. <laughs> so let me know. Um, I'll probably do like um, a closet update because I did add a few things in there. So just let me know what else you want to see below. Um, but we're in the bedroom. My vibe for this bedroom was um, gender neutral. I wanted it to be something a man would love my husband of course um, but also something that I would love um, something that felt elevated just like a cool hotel kind of vibe um, we used a very dark color in here and then we used um, its neutrals but then there's like little pops um, of colors like you see there so I really love how it turned out but again it took a long time to just bring it all together so let's do a little tour and there's a lot of mixes of like highs and lows you know I love that um there's a few things that we splurged on that are just very important to me and then a few pieces here and there that are either thrifted vintage or just like you know really affordable so um check the description box everything that I can link will be linked um but I'll go through all the details at the beginning of this video you would have saw us do the bed we did strip the bed so like there's typically some toss pillows on there, but they're being cleaned because they just haven't been cleaned in a long time. And typically like a throw at the end. And that also needed to be cleaned. Um, but all the important stuff is here. So just FYI. I'll start with the bedding because that is a splurge. It is um, the bed and the linens. Um, this part of the video is sponsored by Brooklinen because that's where my bedding is from. Um, and that's what you just saw us redo the bed with. Um, so let's get into it and then we'll get into the bed and then we'll just do like a quick tour around the rest of the room. I'm sure you guys have heard of, um, Brooklinen before, but it's basically just luxury bedding. But to me, it is a great price buy. Um, uh, but I have the Lux set. Um, and I like the set because you get the duvet cover, you get sheets and, um, like the um, bed sheet, the bed overlay cover, cover, and then pillowcases. I don't want to have to buy all those separately. So I always get the bed, um, the set, and I get the Lux edition. I'll pop up on the screen um, exactly what it's called and the price point, but I want to say it's around $250, which is not cheap, but for luxury bedding and for a whole set, I feel like that's a great price point. I've seen like sets go for like 400 bucks. So I feel like that's a great price point. Um, and these, the Lux set is very cooling and the duvet. So that's what I really like. I always sleep with a fan on, no matter if it's winter or summer, I get hot. <laughs> so these keep me very cool after sleeping in them. Um, so that is my other favorite thing. What else? It's super easy to order. Um, I'll pop up, I'll insert like some footage of all the different variations, the different color options. Again, I keep it pretty neutral because I like for my bed to kind of be a blank slate. And then I kind of like throw in color with um, toss pillows, like extra blankets and throws and stuff like that. Um, but if you like more color, they have lots of options. You should be seeing it on the screen. But again, I typically go with like white, gray, and sometimes tan if I'm feeling crazy um and then this big pillow you see back there that just comes with my bed so we'll talk about that in a second and then they have 25 different colors and patterns so again you'll see that on screen but lots of options if you want something that's not neutral and of course I have a discount code it'll be right here you can save $20 on a $100 purchase or more so I'll leave all the T's and C's all the info and the discount code in the description box below um, and it'll be on screen here but if you guys want to try out some luxury bedding treat yourself um, again there's lots of color options and then different options I have the looks core sheet bundle so I'll put that on screen and below as well if you just want like the same bedding I have um, I'll put that all below let me show you what it looks like um, and again, you already saw us make the bed. Oh, let me go over here because the lighting is a little, there we go. So again, it's super white and crisp. That's how I like it. And then typically um, we would have um, a throw here. 
Um, and I do that in, I have two different ones. I have a tan and I have a gray, um, but that's being washed. And then we have toss pillows too that are um, more of like a gold color, but those covers are being washed. So just FYI. So my bed is from Restoration Hardware. It is the cloud bed and it's a king size. I absolutely love this bed. You would have seen before, um, me vacuuming it when we were making the bed. I do that every time we change the sheets. Um, it does, you like, it does need maintenance. So keep that in mind. Um, if you don't like, just like the cloud sofa, I don't have the cloud sofa, I have a dupe, but it still needs to be like fluffed and vacuumed and it takes um, a little more maintenance than a regular bed frame. So just FYI, um, but that is kind of the overview of the bed. The rug I got from Rugs USA. I absolutely love it. I wanted something with pattern, but that was still kind of like the same color, but just gave me like some textures some interest, some pattern. So here's an up close look at it. And I love that it kind of pulls in the tan of the carpet. I wish I would have did hard hardwood floors in here, but I didn't. Um, so it brings in like the dark gray of the wall color. Um, kind of like the white of the bed and then the tan of like the carpet that's already here. So I really love that. Um, the best part of our bedroom is probably this picture. I got it on Etsy. That will be linked below as well. It is a photographer who just took this picture and sells the prints. Um, and I just got it in the bigger size, but again, it'll be linked below. This is what started the entire bedroom. <laughs> I saw this picture on Pinterest and I was like, I gotta find that. I know it's for sale somewhere. And then after enough Pinterest searches, I finally found it on Etsy. It was pricey and it only comes with the picture. So then I had to find someone to frame it. And it's so big that that was very difficult. I went to like three different places. One place quoted me like $2,000 just to make a frame. I finally found one at like an antique shop that made a frame and I think we paid like $500 to get it framed. And then we had to rent a U-Haul just to get it home because it's that big. I don't know if you can tell, but my ceilings are extremely high. Um, so this painting or this picture is almost like as tall as me. It's like four and a half feet tall. So that's that. Um, biggest question I get is the wall color. Um, it is Sherwin-Williams Gauntlet Gray, and I'll put it on the screen and also below. So that's like a quick little overview, um, and then we'll get into the details. We have a little um, fig tree over here. So this is Josh's side of the nightstand, um, and this is our fig tree. We got it at Home Goods, and I wanted something. Um, because this room is so big, I wanted something that was very voluminous um, and also just brought some like nature in the room. And I love it. This little, what is this box? Trunk, um, I found at a vintage store. It's like a vintage mall here in Virginia Beach. That's where we live. And I just thought it added a little glam to the room. Again, it does tend, it, it feels a little more masculine in here. So I thought that was just like a nice little pop um, in our, um, lamps have gold in it. So I just thought that like tied them in very nicely. Let me turn down the, there we go. Um, these lamps I found at Home Goods. Absolutely love them. Oh, this is a card. <laughs> we don't need to see that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the lamp, I love the detail on it. Just so cute. Again, this is Josh's side. So he has his alarm clock. This little head thing bust I found at Home Goods as well. And I just put a stack of books on it. And then we both have these little trays on each side just to put like our knickknacks. He has his watch and the remote and he, a million chapsticks and his glasses. <laughs> and then we'll go over to my side. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, over here we have uh, this little lamp. We are mixing metals. That's one of my favorite things to do and we do it throughout our house. So I wanted to do it in here as well. Um, so we have, you can see we changed the, actually we added, there were no handles on this door when we moved in. So we added silver handles. I wanted to bring that into the room. So I found this lamp from Home Goods. Um, and then these candlesticks are from CB2. Um, so I love how that tied the gold in. Move this. And then the same thing, same lamps, same tray. I just have like a lighter and lots of chapsticks in there. Um, a few books and then candle holders. And I use books to add height and also to add pops of color. So throughout our bedroom, it's very neutral, but the pops of color are kind of like orange, like burnt orange, um, deep green, and then this like really pretty mar like marigold color. 
And then wanted to bring in just a little more green. So I put that little plant down there at the base of the lamp. Um, and I just love how this looks. Um, oh, the nightstands are from Value City Furniture. They are very old. We have these in our apartment with our old bed and I felt like it was just the vibe I was going for. So we kept them um, and they look like a restoration hardware dupe. <laughs> so that, I think that is everything over here. The little trays on our nightstand, I'm pretty sure I got from the at home store. Um, so yeah, lots of Lowe's um, as far as the knickknacks, like our, our nightstands that were probably like $300 a piece, very, very um, affordable. And then obviously the cloud bed was a huge um, investment, but we love it. It is, I mean, amazing service. They come and like just bring all the parts and literally build the bed in your house. And it is the most comfortable bed combined with the sheets. It is an experience. <laughs> um, and then we have a little like window seal moment over here. Let me see. Sorry, we're going to be going against the light. So here we go. Um, so we painted this um, the same gray. We got the hardware from, I'll zoom in, from Amazon. And I, I love it. It's just like acrylic with a little bit of gold. And then we just put a tray on top that trays from CB2. The paint is already chipping, so I don't advise that. Um, we'll probably have to get it repainted here pretty soon. Um, and then the pillows are from a mix of CB2 and um, Home Goods, I believe. And we don't really sit there. It's just for decoration because <laughs> it's hard. Um, and then we did a little gallery wall over here. These are a mix of, sorry, the lighting is. Um, these are a mix of pictures from um, antique stores. That big white one is from Home Goods, um, And then the rest I think are all from the antique store. So just, that was very hard to do, but I feel like it just adds a little more character. And then that's our bathroom in there. Um, we also found this door from Home Depot, I believe. Um, so that is the door to close it. I wanted something that looked appropriate for like the bathroom. So that's what we got. And then lastly, we do have our TV mounted here. And then we have these chairs, which were literally such a find. Um, let me bring this down. Um, found these chairs at Home Goods as well. Yeah, I'll give you the whole view. There we go. Um, and I love that they were gray, but then they had the wood trim on them. Um, they were such a find. They're so comfortable. You know, we sit here and just sometimes drink our coffee in the morning, put our shoes on, whatever the case may be um, just a regular TV <laughs> and we just have like some candles and some little flowers again I tried to do the pop of like marigold because um, that kind of just looks good with like the gold frames and the gold hardware around the room and that's just the door to leave the room and that I think is pretty much everything um oh and then we have um the doors here so these are barn doors and we just have that room over there that's like our movie room. Um, and that's just if we want to feel kind of like we want to watch a new movie or just like have like a little movie night and we don't want to be in the bed or we don't want to be downstairs. Um, these are recliners. <laughs> Let's open. When you open the doors, um, this is the room and I let Josh decorate this room totally on his own. Um, so I guess you can call it like his little man cave too, because he mostly just watch, watches sports in here. Um, and there's recliners. And to me, this was kind of like the only acceptable place <laughs> to have recliners. Um, he found this picture on Instagram, I think. He loves cars, so that's kind of the theme here. We found this cowhide rug at a local um, like antique store. The sofa is from Value City Furniture. Um, and then just pillows from Home Goods, And then... This little, let me go over here. This little shelving unit um, is from Ikea. And then there's just like a car book and a very big TV and another car <laughs> thing. Um, and then that's what going into the bedroom looks like. So that is this room. Um, and again, we don't use it a ton, but it's nice. Um, we wanna have like a little, a little movie night and then this is what it looks like when the doors are closed to this room so that is what it looks like 
and we love it. I think that's, I think that is the room. So that is our bedroom tour. Um, again, everything will be linked below in the description box. Um, sorry it took so long for this update, but this is pretty much the final room. Again, the only thing missing in the bedroom is um, the extra bed stuff because it's being washed, but I wanted to get this out because I know it's been a long time. Um, of course, make sure you use my code here for Brooklinen. Check them out. You can save $20 on a $100 order, and I'll leave all the details, all of my um, details for my bedding in the description box below. I think that's everything. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.